Hey guys, it's Danny, and for today's 101, I am covering everything you need to know about cranberries. Now, these little jewel-colored fruits outrank almost all other fruits and veggies when it comes to antioxidant power. As a matter of fact, the only fruit with more antioxidants than a cranberry is a blueberry. Cranberries are also high in phytonutrients, high in fiber, and they have lots of vitamin A and vitamin C. Their anti-inflammatory and antioxidant qualities have been shown to support immunity, heart health, and gum health. Now, a lot of people think that cranberries grow in water, but that is not true. They actually grow in sandy soil, on a low trailing vine, on sunken ground that people call a bog. Now, twice a year, the cranberry farmers will flood the bogs. One time they do this in the winter to protect the cranberries from the cold, cold winter weather. And the second time is when it's time to harvest the cranberries. It's actually a really fascinating process. I did not know about this until I started doing a little research. So I am gonna share a video down in the description box below for any of you guys who might be interested in seeing how the whole thing works. It's pretty interesting. They have a really bright tart flavor and they're also a little bit bitter, which is why most times when you see a cranberry recipe, there is some type of sweetener involved. Some other flavors that pair really well with cranberries include include avocado, apples, cinnamon, citrus, walnuts, pistachios, and cheese like feta cheese or blue cheese. Now, while fresh cranberries are ideal, you can also get a ton of health benefits from frozen cranberries, dried cranberries, and cranberry juice. But when you're buying the juice, you wanna make sure to avoid cranberry cocktail, and you wanna look for cranberry concentrate. Basically, the concentrate is pure cranberry juice, so there's no added sugars, and it's absolutely delicious if you just pour a little bit into your water or into some sparkling water. Now, you can find frozen and dried cranberries all year round, but the fresh cranberries start to come out around Halloween, and then they hang around through the early winter. They're definitely like a holiday fruit. People will string them and then put them on the Christmas tree or around a fireplace mantle or anywhere you want to decorate your house. And sometimes I've even seen them put in little glass jars and then used as little table decorations. Lots of things to do with the beautiful cranberry. Now, when you're shopping for cranberries, you want to look for cranberries that are firm and plump and have this beautiful, rich color to them. Avoid any cranberries that are bruised, broken, shriveled up, or sticky. Now, oftentimes when you buy them at the grocery store, they will already be in a plastic bag, which is a great for storage. If they're not in a plastic bag, when you get them home, you wanna put them in an airtight plastic bag and then they will last in your fridge for almost two months. Now, here's the key though. You have to make sure that before you put them in for the long haul, you pull out any berries that look like they're going bad because if you've got one or two in the bunch, they will cause the rest of the cranberries to go bad a lot faster. Once you're ready to use them, simply give them a rinse under some cold water and they're ready to go. A few cranberry recipes that I've shared with you guys in the past include my clean and delicious cranberry sauce and my pumpkin cranberry muffins. And if you want more fresh cranberry recipes, make sure that you tune in on Thursday because I'm gonna be sharing three brand new cranberry recipes with you guys. But in the meantime, don't overlook some of the very easy ways you can start incorporating them into your world today. You could take a handful, put it into your oatmeal in the morning with a little bit of maple syrup and cinnamon. You could toss them into your smoothies. And I personally love adding them to salads with a little bit of fresh feta cheese or avocado to balance out the tart flavor. So lots of things you can do to start eating your cranberries today. So now that you know what to do with fresh cranberries, I'm curious, what type of clean and deliciousness are you gonna be whipping up in your kitchen with cranberries? Do you have a recipe that you already love or might you try something I just mentioned? Come on down into the comments below and let me know. And when you do start cooking, make sure you take a picture and then tag me on Facebook and on Instagram using the hashtag clean and delicious and or Danny Spees so I can see what you're up to. If you guys wanna print any of the recipes that I mentioned earlier, make sure to head on over to cleananddelicious.com. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Okay, ready? These little jewel cut, here we go. These little jewel colored fruits are,
These little jewel-colored fruits outrank almost all other fruits and veggies when it comes to antioxidant power. I know, from the top. Three, two. Now, these little fruits and veggies outrank almost all... These little jewel-covered. <laughs> Ready? 